Hello parents, I'm Jerry Rechtenwald. I'm the director and lead instructor for Invention Bootcamp. I'm very glad that your child is participating in the camp this summer. This video is meant to give you just a brief introduction to the camp and invite you, if you have questions, additionally questions, um, to attend a parents' night that we'll be hosting in the week before the camp starts. The camp is sponsored by the Lemelson Foundation, and the Lemelson Foundation believes that invention has the power to change lives. Our motto is that anyone can be an inventor when you give, give them the right tools. So part of the idea of the camp is to introduce invention tools and the invention process. Part of the tool set is a little microcontroller. This is called a circuit playground. It has a little brain on it called a microcontroller and some lights and some sensors. We'll be also using additional sensors, um, little display units and a uh, air quality sensor as part of the camp. Uh, your child will be given, you should probably have received it um, by now, or will soon receive a kit of parts that includes those electronic uh, bits, but also some physical um, tools that will help with construction. The kit will include a mat. Uh, this is called a cutting mat, and it's used as a work surface so that you can um, put this on a table, for example, and uh, make measurements, but also you can cut cardboard. So we'll be building cardboard prototypes uh, the, the goal of the camp is to teach bro invention broadly, but one of the outcomes is going to be a working prototype of an invention created by your child. And they'll be working in your home and using cardboard and tape and glue to assemble uh, their working prototype. We'll also be including, what was in the kit, we'll be including a knife. And so I wanted just to call your attention to that. This is a... Um, construction knife. It's very sturdy. The blade is short and strong. When it comes to you uh, in the kit, you can't get the blade. It won't, it won't, the blade won't come out. Um, we'll be asking you to help uh, as you uh, teach your student. There's a little screw here and you'll um, be able to expose the blade safely. It's a very sturdy knife. Uh, the blade is quite stiff, but it's also very sharp. The idea here is we want to use that and we'll teach good technique. We'll, we'll show how to uh, use it safely because Frankly, safety is the highest uh, highest value that we have in the camp. Uh, we want very much to teach the tools of invention, but unless we have a safe environment, both uh, emotionally safe but also physically safe, uh, that isn't going to be successful. So I'm just alerting you to this now. It came out in the uh, survey as well. Uh, it, I don't want you to worry about this, but I do want you to know we're paying attention to this, and we want to uh, give you as much um, autonomy here and uh, in, input in how, how um, your child will use these tools. We'll also be teaching, um, as part of the tools, we'll, we'll be teaching something called the human-centered design process. Um, human-centered design is a, an approach to the design of lots of things, uh, electronics, um, mechanical gadgets, uh, social processes, how to design a, a program, how, how to design a park. Think about uh, building a park in your neighborhood. You'd want to include all the elements of uh, comfort and safety and fun. And the whole way to do this is to focus on the users, which are humans. And that's where the human-centered design process comes in. And we'll be teaching that. We'll also be teaching about uh, the path to college. So one of the goals of the camp is to make sure that all the participants feel that they are capable of and welcome to pursue a path to college. An important part of the camp, very important part of the camp, is that I'll be working with eight undergraduate students who are mentors. The near peer mentors are a crucial part of the camp. They'll be helping me do some instruction, but they'll also be working more directly one-on-one -on -one with uh, small groups of the student participants. Uh, the, the, the mentors are technical uh, assistants. They, they know about engineering and programming and design. They will help uh, your student be successful in the camp that way, not to do the work for them, but to support them. And really also important is that they will be near peer mentors. They will create um, an opportunity to ask questions. What's college like? Is the food any good? Is it fun? How did you get there? What were you? Did you ever have trouble in school? Did you ever think you might not be able to make it? Oh, you did, and you overcame that. So these are the kinds of experiences and conversations that will be happening as we're doing the um, the technical work of inventing. So I'm hoping that this gives you some information about the camp. Uh, you're welcome to come to the uh, family night. We have a, a Zoom session for that uh, coming up uh, in the week before the camp starts. And um, I'm really excited. We'll be doing this camp remotely. Um, we're not 
you know that that was not our first choice last year we had uh to do the camp remotely because it was in the the midst of the pandemic it was very uh, serious concerns of needing for social distancing um that camp was very successful and i'm sure will be successful this year back in january when we had to make our commitments to this plan um this year's plan, it wasn't clear what was happening. Uh, we didn't know. I'm, I'm very happy now that we're all, um, hopefully all vaccinated and, and able to move about more freely, but we're building the camp out because we had to follow a plan that we had to start and make commitments for in January. Um, I'm very grateful that you will be opening your home to our camp. Uh, we'll be working in, you know, as I said, in my home and in your home, and uh, we'll, we'll have a good time, I'm sure. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can reach us via email uh, and you can uh, come to our open session uh, coming up uh, the week before the camp starts. Thanks so much for um, participating and supporting your inventor.